it wasn't it wasn't we have compassion we have we've we have I, plenty of friends with with special needs i have kids. my whole family is like <laughs> special needs i'm special I'm, needs. I'm, <laughs> no we all have special <laughs> needs <laughs> but it wasn't about that it was just about the overall situation being on on unreasonable and unfair to all of these other travelers like it's just you gotta you gotta know how to handle it and 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 if your if your child can't handle it or you can't handle it then you have to make other arrangements it's just basic common sense i don't know um i like when uh francis hartley said oh, okay you guys i'll join patreon thanks i'm telling you it's a good week to do it our 106th episode this week and i believe our shows get better and better every week i think so too and i can't wait to show my mom's uh uh potato salad oh my gosh rick and kelly's show on patreon.com i promise you it only costs you five bucks to join or 10 or 25 but if you you can sign for five bucks you have access to 106 episodes you can spend the rest of the month watching every single show we believe you'll stick around um was there anything else that we were supposed to talk about before I do my hurricane update? Uh, oh, we're at 20 minutes. Uh, was there another story you wanted to tell about something? I'm sorry. No, I just got off the phone with Megan King Edmonds and was like, why are you talking smack about me? Because my mom watched that stupid, uh, oh, there's Anthony. Um, this guy, and I'm not even going to say his name because I can't stand him. He talks like this. <laughs> they probably know you're talking about now. And he's like, the... I, that voice, he does not have the voice for radio or a podcast. He's a little bitch and a little twerp, and I cannot stand him. And, and he, he can't, keeps asking me to be on his podcast. Right. He only has 50,000 followers on Instagram. I am not, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not going on your You can talk about me all you want. You don't even know what you're talking about. He was talking, talking about, smack about he you? He was talking smack about me and like Heather DeBro. Like, shut up, okay? You're a total <laughs> loser. Anyway, I talked to Megan King Edmonds. She said she she was not talking crap about me. I didn't listen to it. My mom did. My mom's like, why are people so two faced? And um, but we worked it out. You guys are cool. We're cool. Good to know. Yeah. In the news now. In the news. I, I want to talk about Adalia again because I, I happened. I was a hurricane chaser for a long time, and I I do. Um, I like storms, and um, I'm sort of, you know, when, when there is a storm coming, I, I can't help but focus on it. Yeah, like they said there was a, a, a Hurricane Hillary coming through when it was just a slight sprinkle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Adalia like is joke. different. Adalia is different. It Adalia is? is in the Gulf of Mexico, <clears throat> and it is strengthening as we speak. And when you see this, it may very well already be hitting the coast of Florida. I mean, they're already feeling the uh, outer bands and some effects, I think. But by the time you watch this, Florida could be in for it. They're saying that the strength, the landfall strength and storm surge levels could reach once in a lifetime levels along parts of Florida's Gulf Coast. Idalia is forecast to make landfall as a Cat 3 or stronger, bringing a potential storm surge of 10 to 15 feet to the Big Bend area. That's up at the top of the panhandle, like where the panhandle is, you know, in Florida and the Gulf. Yeah. Um, 10 to 15 feet of storm surge and four to seven feet in the Tampa Bay area. Anything greater than a four foot storm surge in the Tampa Bay area would set a new record there of all time. Six feet of surge would set a record in Cedar Key on the southern side of the Big Bend. Other storms like Hurricane Ian produced higher storm surge. These levels would be unprecedented for this part of the Florida Gulf Coast, which is kind of crazy because they get so many storms in Florida. Right. Now that said, very often, the predictions don't come true. And I'm not saying don't listen to, if you are in that area, don't listen to that, the warnings. I'm just saying I've seen so many times when it was overblown. But this... Well, it's better to be safe than sorry, no? Yes. And this has the makings of an unprecedented event for this part of the state, according to the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. To put this system into historical context, there are no major hurricanes in the historical data set going back to 1851 that have tracked into Appalachia Bay. None. Don't mess around with this one. That from the National Weather Service. Service. When you had that one wipe out your the house in the Hamptons, did that go from, did that start over there and move its way up? 
No, it, that storm was crazy. It came all the way up the coast and like kind of hugged the coast. And it was sort of petering out, but it hit the New Jersey shore as they call it a superstorm because it was a convergence of storms, I think. But it swamped many of the beach towns in New Jersey. And then it made its way to Long Island, which is super rare because it's so far up. And usually these storms, once they've hit the coast anywhere, they wind up bouncing out into, into sea uh-huh. or dissipating over land. Very rare to have storms hit Long Island. And my house was, the water was right up to the doorstep. But, but you are in a triple A. Double A flood zone. Yeah, right off the bay. So, I mean, it can happen. Hmm. This storm, according to the maps I looked at, should not be a threat to the Hamptons. It looks like once it hits the Carolinas, it's going straight out. Oh, wow. But it's going to come up, and and, and, and even Charleston's going to feel it, apparently. So, so we are setting the house up for sale, you guys. If anybody yeah. out there wants to purchase Rick's house in West Hampton. Chandler's Neck Lane is a great location, great piece of property. I mean, it's a special piece of property mm-hmm. we can get too hot too much trouble to get out there yeah so i'd rather have a property here we can keep an eye on and use ourselves whenever we want so that's the plan that's the plan Stan. um we hope you enjoyed this uh daily smash and have a great smash tastic day for those of you down in florida follow the advice follow the warnings just be safe like kelly said better safe than sorry and best of luck to you, because I know these things can be absolute nightmares. So we Jeez. hope that you fare well, and it comes and goes quickly, and uh, there's no loss of life or major damages. Yeah, God we'll bless. See. Yeah. Okay. See you guys. Bye, guys.